I'm Jay Kramer, an application engineer as part of our DMA team here at ANSYS. Uh, I'm here to show you a new feature release in ANSYS Test My Ocean Toolkit uh, with SDK 12.9, which is part of our 2024 R2 release. Along with general performance improvements in how we handle track objects and a new data caching system, we're bringing you a new feature called Markers by Metric. For those that are familiar with the updates we made in 2024 R1 in bringing the current state capability to tracks, uh, markers by metric expands on this to give you the ability to now dynamically change that marker you are setting by a user-defined metric, whether that is a built-in SDK data provider or a, an external data element brought in through TTK. Markers by metric is a capability specific to tracks and is found in the tracks workflow under the current state tab. To enable markers by metric, you must first have a track object created in TTK. You'll then want to open the tracks workflow to customize your track you will highlight the track that you want to add markers by metric to and select the current state tab. Uh, under the current state tab, you will have the ability to select between a static current state marker uh, or markers by metric. Once markers by metric is selected, you click configure markers to open the markers by metric configuration page. Markers by metric allows you to create, store, and switch between different user created configurations. Uh, so here you can create a specific configuration defined using a single data element. And you can also add additional ones for other metrics you might want to switch to in order to highlight that data element. Let's make a new configuration called mode. In this configuration, I will be using a data element from my imported track file used to create the track object I'm customizing. That data element in my data set is called mode woman. Uh, once you've selected your data element, Next is to define what values you want to highlight in that element and the markers, color, and labels, if you'd like, to correspond to that value. Uh, to start defining your metric values and markers, you will click the blue plus icon at the top to add a new input. Currently, uh, markers by metric only allows for explicit inputs, uh, meaning only a single numerical value can be represented by a custom marker. Um, therefore, selecting a metric that has few integer values like this mode I'm using or a validity bit or something like a run number uh, will make it easier to configure and highlight. Um, additional configurations like bounded values you can expect in future releases. With some insight into our data set, we know this mode element has five unique values, which are integers one through five. For uh, our understanding, this mode corresponds to the length of time that our radar system has been tracking any nearby aircraft. So once we've set up how we want that value to be represented by a marker and a marker color and again additionally label if we so choose we can then close out the configuration panel where our setup will be stored if we ever want to go back and edit anything about the current configuration we can now hit apply and take a look at our scenario focusing in on aircraft 2 um, in the left window or if we want to take a, a look at the broader scenario in the right window if we animate forward, we can begin to see our markers changing dynamically along our measurement tracks. Based on our markers by metric configuration, as the mode value changes for the specific track that that marker will be updated to reflect our inputs uh, we set up a minute ago. This is a great way to understand not only where our track exists at the current animation time, like the current state capability brought us in SDK 12.8, but now also provides a new layer to examine how the properties of that track may change over time. In this case, allowing us to understand how long our own ship um, or radar system has been tracking that aircraft um, since first acquisition from its radar system. Uh, we look forward to seeing how you can use this capability to better communicate your measurement data. Uh, for more on the markers by metric and the latest TTK features in 12.9 um, and 2024 R2 release, be sure to visit uh, the SDK help. And for any technical questions, um, with anything related to SDK or TTK, uh, please reach out to us through email at support at AGI.com. Thanks.